Hi, I'm Lisa. And I'm Mark. And, and we're, we're the Yoho's. <laughs> Time to get working. <laughs> you guys, today is the day. I wait for this day all year. I don't necessarily love cold, as we all know, but I do love going and hanging out with my friend, giving the trees a little haircut, bringing some greenery home, and sprucing up, get it? <laughs> Our front porch. Oh, I love this. It's so much fun just to catch up and I don't know, walk around in nature and freeze and carry on and have fun and a little lunch and laughs and shenanigans as we do. So enjoy. Later on in the video, you'll obviously see me putting these greens to you. So stick around for that. It's a bit of a long video, but it might give you some ideas to carry on onto your own front porch or back deck or patio or balcony. Oh. You get my point. Anyways, <laughs> enjoy. Where am I going with this? So, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, that Just having a little haircut. Oh yeah, you get rashy or something. Yeah, like yeah. Well, let's, we don't have to use the word rash. <laughs> I get eczema. You get itchy. <laughs> the only hat I could find, of course, it was a Dewalt. Are we doing something wrong? Sorry, sir. We're just here to steal some of your pines. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You wouldn't be the first one. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> fun. Now we get to put it on the front porch. See you when I get home. Not as nice as you think it is out here. Not a whole lot of prep work to do here. Just a bit of sweeping. I didn't decorate for fall. We did decorate our friend's front porch and I will link that below for you. But with that being said, I just want to, like I say, clean it off and start decking the halls <laughs> or porch, I guess it is. <laughs> it's cold, eh? It's cold. Come on. So don't think for one second that I buy new stuff every year. I try to thrift as much as I can or repurpose some of the things that I already have. Okay, so while I was bringing out all the stuff, all I could hear was sirens the entire time. And I was thinking, what is happening in this little town? Though it was a Santa Claus parade and it didn't dawn on me until I heard a bunch of honking and stuff and I thought, oh, I saw the banners through town. That's what it is. <laughs> Phew. I don't know why I'm sweeping this. It looks like I'm in jail. Well, it's gonna get all full of pine needles soon, but whatever, at least all the leaves are gone. I didn't want the leaves. They're not welcome here. Ooh. Now are we guaranteed that there's no mice in this? Oh yeah, 100% dude. <laughs>
now I want to do something a little different this year. Instead of just making a planter like I normally do, putting together with all the greens, I really wanted to make a garland for each side of the door. Now, looking back on this whole idea, I think I've just built a mouse ladder, but okay, I'm just gonna hold my breath and build it and just when I go out the door, just run out. <laughs> Oh gosh. So I'm tying a knot in the end of one of the strings, hanging it from the little hook that's been up there that I was in there previously. I didn't put that there this year and just kind of letting it hang and seeing where it hangs. That way I can get the actual height and measurement of the garland that I need to make. I'm gonna go do this on the grass because I feel like it's gonna be easier to tie them onto here. You'll see what I mean. I'm gonna be very honest, I have never done this before. Like, never. So we shall see how it turns out. They could be all on the porch in the morning. I'll show you what I'm doing. Hold on. So what I'm doing here is I'm just laying those pieces of string, twine, whatever you're using, on the ground so it's easier to tie it to the string. That coat is driving me crazy. Oh, this is better. Remember when you're a little kid, you get all dressed up in your snowsuit, your socks fell off in your boot, or your coat kept riding up and your shirt pulled up with it? Yeah, that was that coat. Nope, nobody's got time for that. All right, pump the brakes. So what I'm doing here is not right. And I stopped and I thought about it. All of my millions of years of hairdressing and doing foils on people, you don't start at the top, you start at the bottom. And this is essentially the same thing. It's layering these things on this twine. So how are you gonna tie it if you can't see it? So you start at the bottom, tie the top, the top of the branch with twine onto the other piece of twine, and you just kind of layer them and stack them kind of like shingles on a house or foils in your hair. <laughs> And once that's done, you just lift it up carefully and hang it on the little hook. How easy is that? And so cute. There are a few pieces that kind of want to stick out. So I just tied those right to that twine as well once they were hung and it was pretty easy. No worries. in there. <laughs> I did find what I was looking for that I wanted to show you. Something you need to see to understand what truly happens in the Yoho house. Sleeping are many, many nutcrackers. Uh, yeah. yeah I'll, br I'll bring them up. All right. Lisa needs these. Off to Lisa. All right. Now we're in business.
All right, so time for the planter. You guys, this is the easiest thing in the world to do, honestly. As long as you have some good sharp shears to cut the ends of these things in case they're too long. I usually use typically three different kinds of greenery. I believe it's spruce and pine and cedar, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not an arborist, I'm just Canadian, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to stuff them into the pot, keep stepping back to kind of take a look at it. And really, honestly, you can jazz it up with anything. I still need to figure out what I want to put on here. I might put a couple of Christmas balls or some sparkly things. I definitely gonna, I'm going to put some lights in here. But you know what? easy peasy and don't be intimidated and go just get some greenery some buy some greenery and try it on your own i think you'd be pretty surprised with the outcome they're pretty easy to make honestly give it a try Cold. Oh, the sun's deceiving. I am done. Finally, two days off. Well, a good day in a bit. Well, my hands were too cold. It's too hard to work with gloves on. <laughs> I'm just gonna Mr. Rogers my coat away. But yeah, it's all done and it was so much fun. A million, a bazillion pine needles. Well, I'm just waiting for my fingers to thaw out so I can put the little lights, the solar lights on our little tree out there. I've never done that and I'm kind of excited. It's not very big. I just think it would be really pretty at nighttime if I put lights on that and it snowed and it's gathered on the lights like it does. Oy, oy, oy. You know that feeling when you come in after tobogganing when you're a kid and your hands are like frozen but you're sweaty? That's what it's all about right now. Happy Sunday. So you guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We are in full Christmas mode around here. Mark just brought up all the boxes from the basement. I'm excited. So I'll talk to you later and see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.